Mr. Powell is here tonight. It's really interesting because uh, I've heard stories now from uh, Chris and Cabela Calloway who uh, told me stories about their dad. Uh, this is something that's going to probably blow everybody in here away because they, they don't realize it. But in 1928, Cab Calloway tried out for the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> Cab Calloway made the team. And Cab Calloway had to make a decision as to whether or not he was going to travel with um, his band or with the Globetrotter. I guess he, he, he did the right choice. <laughs> But uh, you know, uh, later on in his career, after the big band thing stopped, uh, he traveled with the Globetrotters and did a. Uh, he and a piano player would come out at halftime during Globetrotter games and, and, and entertain everybody. I mean, that that is uh, one of the things I found out that, that just blew me away. He had played in high school, went to Frederick Douglass High School in Baltimore, and then after that, played professionally uh, in the Delaware Valley and uh, out toward West Virginia. You know, down in Virginia. In, in the, in the mid-Pacific, in the mid-Atlantic area. And uh, very few people know that. He also uh, owned a, a baseball team, and, and they traveled. Uh, saw a great, great photograph of Dizzy Gillespie um, playing baseball against the Cap Calloway's All-Stars.